I'm going to use this little Arduino relay to trigger my plasma cutter. It's a 5 volt relay, so I need a 5 volt signal off my ramps board to run it. You have a common here in the middle, and then one's like a positive voltage, and the other one's a negative voltage. So we have a 5 volt positive voltage that we're going to supply. And normally, when you give your Arduino an M106 command, it would turn on this D9 pin, which that's not what we want. That's, that's a 12 volt output. So I wanted to change D9 and assign it to pin 44, which is where this yellow pin hooks up. There. Yeah, where that green and yellow wire go. That's where we want to be. So, I, I'll show you on the computer how you reassign the pin. You just make the reassignment in the table. And then, uh, reflash the firmware into your Arduino. And when you give that command, M106, it should now trigger this instead of that. So we'll go through it and see how it does. Control, click that. We'd like to connect. We're connected. Now M one zero six. Send. That turns on our relay. M one zero seven. Shuts off relay. On? Oh. I don't know if everybody's will be that way or not, but I'm using the Guffy post processor and Fusion 360. It's using the M106 for the plasma cutter on, which I have now assigned to pin 44. If you had a 12 volt relay, you could have left it on 9. That would have been fine, but I don't. Hopefully that helps you out. On. M106 on M107 off. Yep, that's using a Repetier host. And honestly, you can send your G code with the cable to it without using the screen. But I didn't want to do it that way because of my plasma cutter interference. So I'm printing off this SD card. But if you want to use SD card, this will send all the G code. And I know lots of people do it. There's this, there's ES, ESTL cam, and there's, there's many others. I haven't looked into any of them. So do your own research on that. Thanks for watching.